everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so in this video I am going to do a tutorial on how I make these fabric covered envelope journal covers. <laughs> uh, in the previous video I showed the inspiration and how it came about, it was completely random. I just had some pages that I needed to make into a journal and discovered that the envelope, this size envelope, was the perfect size to make covers out of them. So it wasn't planned at all and I needed some way to decorate the covers to make them, you know, pretty. <laughs> and this is what I came up with using fabric and a picture on top with sewing around it. Um, I'll link this video below if you missed it. Um, I talk about how I was inspired and everything. And yeah, I was that inspired that I created so many journal covers so I already shared these two using Gina's lovely lavender, I call it lavender, fabric that she sent me. It's so beautiful and just showing the, um, the I don't know, tulle or lace behind the sewn element with this and that's what it looks like on the inside of that one and that's what it looks like on the inside of that one. <laughs> and yeah, I got on a roll basically and so I want to show you all these other ones that I made. So let me have a look here. Get them in order. I should have done this before. <laughs> I made two more of the sunflower and dragonfly ones. So there is the sunflower second one, which I used an, a yellow envelope for. And these are just some elements that I'll include in the journal. I've already put the pockets in and the cards and there's one in here. So that's all set up for me to put pages in there. So that is one that I've done. And then another one with the dragonfly. Um, so here's the front with some lace, that beautiful fabric. And then again, these are just elements that I'll put in it, but there's the pockets. And just yeah, just showing you all the different styles you can make depending on on what lace you have, you can create some really cool different effects. So hopefully this is inspiring to you that if you don't have the exact same laces or anything that I have, just use whatever you have. So this one's uh, different again. So and it's to show I put the picture at the top as a feature, just for a different look, and I quite like that too. It's a yellow themed journal, so I use the yellow envelope. There's the pockets and like a different lace on the flap. And there's the back. So I'm just basically layering up different laces together and different fabrics to build up the textures and all that interest. Then this one is... I've got all these upside down, don't I? <laughs> this one is um, just really taking up the whole space really with this gorgeous image. I love the blue and the white together. And there's another one on the back. And I love this fabric here because it's lace with little flowers in it. And it's just subtle, but again, there's the pockets. But it's just effective with the whole layering and the different textures. And then this one <laughs> is a pink themed one that I will do. But I didn't want to put anything on the back, at least of this one, because I actually really like that fabric. And just to show you what that fabric looks like. So all the others, I covered this up. Some of them I use this as the front, some of it I use as the back. Um, but this one, it is just left blank. So instead of covering it with a picture, I wanted this to be the star of the show. So you could just see that. And that is what it looks like on the inside. And that one has the, the flower lace. And then the last one I've done is this red rose one, which I think is just classic and elegant. So I wanted to keep it simple. And I used that same fabric here, um, which is this. I've got it here. So that's what it looks like. Really, really pretty. I think that's the right way up. Yeah. So I didn't want to um, mess up with it too much. I want to show through. But just for that added interest, this is fabric from Bonnie and Clive, or lace from Bonnie and Clive. Thank you so much. I was hoarding it for so long. 
but you sent me quite a few pieces so now I have used one piece <laughs> oh, and then there's the back as well so there is the inside keeping with the classic elegant white theme with this journal so we're going to make another one <laughs> together uh, I've got my images I suppose let's talk about materials get your envelope I don't know what size it is I'm sorry <laughs> um, I threw out the cover to tell me what size but I can get my ruler and I can measure it for you for those who want measurements it's about 22 and a half centimeters mm, plus a bit <laughs> and then the height is about 16.1 centimeters um, and you could have the flap at the front if you want the pocket at the front or at the back it doesn't really matter you could even cut that side and you have two pockets but at the moment I'm just getting into a routine and I put it at the back no particular reason it's just what I'm doing um, I use images so I just get any image I like at the moment I'm really liking botanicals so all of my images are botanical but you could use anything from any kit that you have a digital kit or an image of like I want to do one with that person that lady with the the glittering jewels that she wears on her in her hair and the giant gold um not gold giant diamond necklace that she's wearing if you've seen my previous videos where I talk about that image you know which one I'm talking about I want to get that image again and I will create a journal just with this lace and this envelope journal cover and have her as the picture on the front I think that would be really cool but any picture so if you're flipping through a book and you're like, oh, I really like that picture, I want that to stand out, just grab that picture. I back mine onto coffee dyed paper just to give it some extra weight. You don't really have to do that, but and then I sew around it, so that's why I back it on as well to just make sure it doesn't rip while it's sewing. And it just gives it that sewing look. Of course, you could sew directly onto the page. I'm not that, not that advanced. I'm sure some of you are, and you can just do all of this without the glue that I'm going to be doing and you can just sew everything onto it which is a great effect too I just went for glue because this is my first time doing this and it looks really fun anyway so grab your two images or you only need one for the front really because the back if you have really nice fabric or whatever you, it doesn't really matter about the back um, you don't even need an image if you want to just layer it up with lace and things but let's go again so I am using fabric for my base my background but again you can use whatever so um, actually no I'm not using fabric so one option is like the lavender ones I would use just fabric I'll just glue down on the page layer my fabric at the top and then trim around the edges that's it <laughs> but and then you just layer it up with some more lace so I'll put some lace on the spine or I'll do something diagonal or something like that but for this one <laughs> I am going to do a cover like this. So I could have it like this. So when I fold it over, that's your front cover and then you put the picture on top, which I have done for some of them. Or I can have that at the back. And sorry, let me show you what I am going to be doing. Get my beautiful Bonnie and Clive lace put that here so that that's the cover Ta -da! <laughs> all right so that is what I'm going to be doing for this one just for a different look because I've already done the other one so let us sorry I'm kind of doing this all out of order the other materials just some lace for the flap and some other form of lace just wide enough to be able to be a pocket but you can use anything whatever lace or ribbon that you have it just needs to be wide enough I mean you could use anything like your own paper scraps <laughs> to make a pocket um, so oh, I could even do it that way look at that and then I could hey that's pretty and this is what I mean like you can just experiment and play around which is literally what I did for all of those covers and then I could have that at the top <laughs> and it could be like that so let me have a look what that looks like that's really pretty 
Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, dear me, now I'm torn. Uh, so, let me have a look at the other option, which was doing that. And that. And then that. <laughs> and yeah, this is just to show all different ways you can do things. And just have fun experimenting with whatever lace and fabric that you have. Man, they're both good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Because I like how there's lots of this to see that, really see that pattern by itself. Because there's nothing behind it. I really like that. And I think it goes with the picture because it's quite delicate. But, at the same time, now look at me go, I'm sorry, I should have prepared this before. It's not really a tutorial, it's more of like a process, isn't it? Alright, and maybe if I put that there. No, I don't like it like that. I want it like this. And then I put that there. Oh, I like that too. That's so pretty. And you might be at home thinking, yes, do that. <laughs> but I usually, I stick to the original plan most of the times when I'm experimenting. Who knows why. <laughs> um, but I did have my heart set on that one. Or I, I really liked that, so let's just go with that. I like how it showed through. And there's just something about this picture that makes me want to do it this way kind of just balances out and stands out so anyway <laughs> rambling I will glue my like yeah not rocket science or anything I'm just going to glue it straight onto the envelope I'm using oh sorry not even in frame <laughs> I'm using craft glue and if I had fabric glue I'd use fabric glue but again I hope all these videos all my tutorials and process videos just kind of show that you can use whatever you have around and that what I really want to get across as well is that it's when you have your supplies or I don't know you need to do something and all you've got is what you have and it forces you to be creative and come up with new ideas so I was like Okay, I'll just use an envelope to make a cover because I don't have any paper bags. I'll use an envelope. And well now I need to decorate the envelope. What do I have? I've got fabric. Alright. And how can I layer them up to make it look pretty? And that's kind of what I love about creating. One of the things I love is that when you are limited or need to do something, especially when you make a mistake, it's like, oh, now I need to fix this. And you will find ways to create something to fix it that you would never have thought of before. So when there's a necessity, it forces you to just be creative. And when you are limited in what you have, there's that thing. I was talking to someone about this in a completely different related context. But when you have limitations, often people can think that is closing the door on what you can do, on possibilities. But limitations actually give you freedom to come up with new ideas. They are opportunities to to come up with new ways of doing things and come up with new ideas and that's completely what I find in this creative process so that's why I love the idea of mistakes because <laughs> it forces you to be creative and what you create ends up being often in most cases I found better than what you originally had Alright, so there is my base background and literally I'm just going to cut around all the edges except for the frilly bits because I quite like those just hanging over the edge. So yeah, I hope you um, pull out some lace grab an envelope this size if you have one <laughs> or go get some and craft along with me and I'm sure like a lot of you would be much better at um, 
using lace and fabric already and collaging and you would layer this up really awesome and add bling and add flowers and add all sorts of things to this charms and whatever <laughs> me I'm just going super basic for now because I am still getting used to working with fabric and lace and collaging, collaging and layering but I actually love how simple these are so effective all right so let me just cut that better if I can <laughs> all right so there is my beautiful journal cover so I will fold it and there it is and if I was let me explain about the insides so actually this is a case in point about how when you're forced to do something you can get creative so what happened with these was I actually planned originally to only make one journal with this on the front and this image on the back but when I looked at the images I was like no I really like this image too much for it to be on the back I want to put this on the front of a journal and what that meant was I didn't have any other purple images for the back so I had to leave it plain which I'm fine with because the, the uh, fabric gets to be the star of the show but that meant that this wasn't sturdy like all the other ones have a card on the back to give it sturdiness or if it's this fabric it doesn't need it really um, but if it was just really light I <laughs> like this fabric it was too flimsy for me because I didn't have that extra card on the back to give it some weight so that forced me to go okay what can I do to make that back cover sturdier and I just hit upon this idea to add this layer of paper which is actually a digital that my friend Tony sent me so I just printed that out I already had it in my stash and because it was the right size basically <laughs> and because it had purple in it these purple flowers I just stuck it onto the page so there's one this size here and one this size there it was actually journaling card so imagine that piece of paper is a journaling card that's literally what it was and I stuck it onto the page and then there were gaps because it was only journal card size so I'm like oh okay I need to cover up these gaps what can I do and so I went looking and found these narrower strips of lace so they're not big enough to be a pocket really but big enough to cover up that gap so I just got covered up the three gaps one was there one was there and one was there and that's the whole point you might look at this and go oh wow she just created something amazing whereas what really happened was I'm like, oh, okay, I need to make this sturdy. What can I do? Put that there. Okay, now I have all these gaps everywhere. Now what can I do? All right, put lace there. So that's how it came about. <laughs> uh, um, and of course, I was trying to make something pretty and beautiful at the same time. But it was that the f needing to find something to solve a problem and using whatever I had on hand to solve it. And then you create something beautiful. I really like that um, so you can do that too just use whatever you have whatever papers you have or cardstock and or even fabric like I could just use that same purple and I could have just put that on the, on the back that would have been simple as <laughs> um, but you you're creative you have things in your stash that I'm sure you could find to use to make the inside also look pretty <laughs> Um, but for this one everything is going to be sturdy enough like I'm gonna have the card there I'm gonna have the card here so there's no need for me to reinforce this area and I could if I wanted to make it look like you know extra extra pretty but I like it as is I think it's fine it's nice and simple and I will just go ahead and glue down on this flap the other little bit of lace so basically I'm working with the colors I've got a pink 
themed little journal going on here with these ones. So I've chosen two pink images or that feature pink. And then I will work out which way is the front and which way is the back. Um, and then put that on the page, on the flap, sorry. And I'm going to move it down. And I will remove some of this glue because I've got a bit glue happy. And like, yeah, you could always cover this later. So just removing <laughs> the glue. Alright, and then I will grab my pocket lace. And again, you could use washi tape down the spine or lace for an added feature. But I will just grab my glue and I'm going to put it along here. And I will just glue here, even though that will get sewn with the binding anyway. I like to see it already <laughs> to know where the pockets are and everything. And I'm just going to glue that down and have my pockets. So I will trim those up. Just following the line of the flap. And trim this oh, overhang <laughs> part of the whatever that's called lace, ribbon, fabric, trim. Just going to be careful so I don't cut off the, <laughs> is it called a scalloped edge? Okay, so there are my lace flap and pockets. So next step is to put on the image. Now I'm going to look at some of them I put straight, some of them I put on an angle. This one I'm going to put straight. Usually it, it just depends on what the background is doing. So I feel like there's a lot of this here that is wanting to be part of the show. Like if I was just covering it I would do that. But because I want this to stand out a bit more and be a feature, I'm going to do this. And I actually really like that. I'm glad I went this way. Even the other way was pretty. I'm just loving how much of this is shown and how much of it... It's just really pretty. <laughs> I can't explain it. It just... I like it. It's pretty. Um, and I feel like it just really works well with the image the delicate nature of the image, the flowers. So yeah, I'm just going to glue this on and then you get that illusion of sewing. <laughs> I'm going to stick it not quite centred. It's going to be a bit more over that way because I want to catch that. I want it to be overlapped a little bit at least. If I put it that way too much it wouldn't really overlap. So I want to catch all of the different layers even though there's only two layers. <laughs> Alright and then, oh how cute does that look? I love it! And then I will put this on the back. I could leave it because that is pretty but I want to put that there. I feel like it works with the front cover image so I'm gonna do this.
So how awesome is this? Just using a plain simple envelope, add a bit of lace and an image and you transform it into something that is so beautiful. So let me open that up and there is my journal cover. Oh I love it. <laughs> I really love it. It's one of my favourites because this is the one that has like, are they herons or something? Some sort of bird in there. And oh, I love it. <laughs> so this is going to be like a pink floral botanical journal. Like again, this is how the covers tell me what the journal is. And this is literally what happens to me. <laughs> and why I create so many journals in a series because for me it's all about the cover it's the cover that inspires me it's the cover that shows me I'm going to make a journal and once I have an image or a concept for the cover I just go nuts <laughs> so because I had all these images I'm like yes I want to use that as a cover and that one as a cover and that one as a cover and that one as a cover and I've stopped now because I've gone through the other images and I'm like no nope, none of those interest me as a cover but because this many were speaking to me as covers I created them <laughs> and once you create the covers it's like oh well now I have to make the journal <laughs> and now I can add this one to it oh I love it and yeah I hope that was helpful <laughs> my tutorials are so informal and just casual um, and like look at that Isn't that so good just a simple envelope transformed into a beautiful journal cover <laughs> have fun playing i hope you had fun with this and i hope it's given you some ideas and some inspiration um and i love the fact that yeah even though this is what mine all kind of look like there are so many ways to do this and you have your own style and your own spin and you will make this your own however you do it so ah, oh, i'm so excited to discover something new that i mean i know other people I've probably done this before I haven't seen this specific way of doing it um, so I love that I can just create something and see it come out and be like oh I love it <laughs> so, look at all these all this good journal goodness <laughs> um, and now I have the task of turning them into actual journals <laughs> we'll see how we go um, all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope it was helpful let me know if it was like the video if it was and that helps me know you know if I should keep doing tutorials and things like this because um, it does take quite a bit of effort and everything getting all the materials ready and it takes a bit of a long time uh, filming it all but um, I am so excited to share this with you love how they turned out and I look forward to seeing you create your own if you do and want to share the photos so all right I'm rambling <laughs> I'll see you guys later and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye